Tina DeLuca here. All right, today is the final product test video for the PBO pouring medium. And paints, the colors we're working with. I have iridescent blue green, primary magenta, light azo yellow, and titanium white. Uh, today we'll be doing a straight pour. These paints have been mixed one part paint to two parts pouring medium to which I have added a tiny bit of water. It didn't take much to thin it out. Uh, basically you can keep adding this pouring medium and it won't get too thin. But add just a little bit of water and it does uh, change consistency quickly. So if you're gonna do this, uh, do it a couple of drops at a time. Before we get started, let me show you my Fluid Art Inspiration cards. You've already seen this part. Just fast forward about 30 seconds and we'll be back to painting. What we have here, there are 52 cards in the deck. There are 42 technique cards. Each technique card has an associated video, a tutorial that will give you all of the information that you need regarding paint colors and consistencies and how to do it. There is a box that has a tip for that technique, a color palette, plus these two boxes are meant to be able to be used as a two color pour or as the basis for another pour. You could add another color to it. Also included are eight bonus color palette cards, each one having five color palettes. And uh, you can use all of the colors together or just a few of them, or just pick a couple of colors and add a white or a silver or what have you. I hear folks are using this for more than just fluid art. They're using the palettes for bead making and crochet. I got paint on that. That is available at my website, ginadeluca.net. Okay, now for the painting. I do highly recommend wearing gloves when using this pouring medium. It does get rather sticky. First thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna put some paint in this cup. Let's see. This is a 10 by 10 canvas, so I'll need roughly five ounces of paint. I have more than enough here. I'm going to add just a bit of white. The rest I will save for a base coat. I think I will do the magenta. Oh, let me show you what consistency we're working with. That might help you. This is a one on my consistency scale. It does not make a mound. It just disappears immediately. I find this to be the best consistency for straight pores. And yellow. Crossing my finger that this blue sinks. I'm actually gonna pour this from up high to make that happen. Okay, I'm gonna quickly put down a base coat. Okay, that blue wanted to float back to the top. So I guess we're gonna see what happens.
All right. I don't think we're going to get any cells. Doesn't appear that way. It was more paint than I needed. I'm going to be losing some of this. Okay, I like this composition, so I'm not going to mess with it. That blue is absolutely stunning. I love that blue. That bluish blue. Okay, I'm going to let this sit for a bit, and then I will bring you in for a close-up. Back in a few. Okay. Here it is. I did get some cells. And something very interesting happened. Check this out. I've never seen this before. That is super cool. I have never seen this kind of pattern. You can see that blue was beautiful. But that pattern is so neat. It almost looks like it's a dip, like that kind of effect, but clearly it was not. Such a cool effect. But by mixing the paints thin the way I did, did affect the sides a bit, not so much on this side, but that side, it kind of ran off and got thin. But all the other sides look good. Let's see if I can. That is such a cool effect. I'm totally digging that. All right. So I'm going to let this dry. And then I will be back. And I will show you all four dried paintings. And how they turned out. Stay tuned. Back in a few. Okay, here are the dried pieces. You can see... They are very shiny. It has a lovely sheen when it dries. A coat of two or varnish uh, on here would make a very shiny painting. Here is the flip cup with the PBO silicone. Those blue cells are so, so pretty. Trying to capture that metallic flash. I love this part. It looks like opal. That looks just like an opal. So, so cool. And you can see that definitely did change quite a bit from where it was. Okay, here is the traveling ring pour. Wandering ring bore, whatever you want to call it. I'll try to get to capture that metallic, but the lights on the ceiling are getting in the way. But 
but you can see how the sides held up. Good coverage. And uh, let's see, we have the straight pour. This one came out so cool. Those little funky cells. This painting did shift a bit um, when I was, when it was drying. I don't think I had it properly leveled or maybe I sat it on a lump of paint or something. But you can see it has like that almost dipped effect. And you can see the sparkle of that blue green. It's a... Uh, It just, it looks like a sea anemone. Anemone. Fun word. And then we have the Rain-X uh, piece that was a flip cup without silicone with Rain-X added at the end. And that moved quite a bit. So it doesn't really look like the thumbnail because I put that video up while the painting was still wet and when I woke up the next morning this is what it looked like. Still very cool. I like this little yin yang looking beta fish koi something or another going on there. That was a neat little happy accident. And then of course this kind of has a little bit of that effect going on like this painting, where is it there? There's a bit of that going on right here, if you can see it. That looks like a peacock feather, nifty. Some of the, that little funky cell action, very unusual. I do dig on unusual. So there you have it. The PBO pouring medium and paint and their silicone. Fun little experiment. If you found this video or this series of videos helpful, please like and share and subscribe so other people can benefit as well. Sharing is caring. Uh, if you'd like to support this channel, do check out the PayPal and Venmo tip jar. It is always greatly appreciated. You can find the links to those in the description box below this video. Also in the description box, you will find my Amazon link. If you enter through that link, anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, I will receive a small commission at no additional cost to you. That is a very galactic looking cell. That's pretty nifty. And also in the description box is the link to go make some art. Join our Facebook group, go make some art, post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration. And last but not least, my website, GinaDeLuca.net, where you can purchase my art, my music, and the Fluid Art Inspiration Cards. All right, y'all. That is it from me for today. I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope you learned something. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.